Hello everyone and welcome back to Age of Nagash, which is a channel dedicated to Age of Sigma. And in this video, me and I'm going to be joined by Luke. So Luke, how are you doing today? I'm well, thank you. Fantastic. Luke joined us when we covered the last Warhammer preview. And in this one, we're covering the Warhammer preview online, the Dead and the Divine. So Luke was here when we covered the Sinesh stuff and there was lots of cool things announced there. And then in this video, if you watch that one, be a similar sort of thing. So we're going to go through the whole Warhammer article um, they've done online. And this is directly after they have done their preview. So everything should be updated on this page. I think everything's here. And we're just going to go through it and tell you our sort of thoughts and sort of how excited we are. As we still, you know, just came off the bandwagon of the hype of just seeing everything new for the first time. So obviously we are going to prioritize Age of Sigma stuff, but we will mention everything everything um i'm also going to try and get this uploaded as soon as i can to you guys um to get onto youtube so you can hear my thoughts as soon as possible because i know lots of people are excited so the first thing they say is welcome to the dead and the divine our first online preview of 2021 over the next hour or so we'll be showing you off incredible releases for basically one 40k kill team adept of titanicus um, Warhammer Age Sigma, Warhammer Underworlds, and No Wait, the last one, a surprise you'll have to, okay, we'll get to that because we know what it is. Um, so we've got Warhammer 40k, which are the uh, Sisters of Battle. So I'll be honest, I, are they still called Sisters of the Battle or they've got a new name now? No, no, they're still called, uh, yeah, uh, Adeptus, Adeptus Sorara, Sorara Trust. Battle. Yeah, it's, it's all. Whatever. So basically what they've got, this is going to divide people's opinions on how I'm going to describe it. They've got a baby carrier, um, which is, well, it's the Grey Knight looking thing, right, that they have. Um, Apparently it's officially called a Paragon Warsuit. Paragon Warsuit. To be honest, I don't mind it. I think it's, it's quite it's quite cool because um, I am slowly building up an Imperial Knight army and this has kind of got the same aesthetic, so... Mm. could make a nice like quest a night or something obviously much on a smaller scale but uh the sword is nice and uh i know yourself luke you're thinking that you could give that to one of your armages or something yeah yeah uh because i'm going for like a questing knight theme for my imperial knights i'm basing them on the old bretonian faction for fantasy so some swords on my uh, armages would be lovely Mm, yeah, so like there, there could be use out of it. And what um, when we watched the preview, it was actually on the Discord. So if you want to watch the next one with us, join the Discord essentially. But there's a few of us watching it, and the first thing we basically say on this, like, like it for a bits box, like it for a bits box. You know, so it could mm. have some use. Um, going on to the kill team stuff, um, some very cool uh, Necron models coming oh, out, it's... which I think, I mean, like the, the Space Marines are always going to look fine, right? But the Necrons are all about because okay, that's the space here are the necron stuff um which i want to mean all about the uh necron stuff i mean the flares like yes they are lovely and i know you actually had an idea or you thought you could use these flares for but i don't know if you want to keep that to yourself if you want to do that idea first or if you're probably not going to do it and you just want to share that you were the first one to think of it yeah no i'm not going to be able to afford to do it so i'm happy to share it but yeah using the crypt flay uh, using the these sort of flayed ones as crypt flayers for a realm of death themed flesh eater corpse yeah like i think you would have to so like these would be like more like ghouls wouldn't they yeah and then, crypt ghouls sorry yeah that's right and then but there are Maybe bigger one. things they're like there's the, the what are they the destroyers the, the snake looking ones yeah. you could use um so it'd just be like from the realm of metal what could be really uh, a cool theme you could because i mean like they're all hunched over as well these are uh, flares yeah. like crypt girls um could be really they even got correct spine and stuff yeah like it could be a really cool thing um and you just come up with your own lore and stuff for it of course um, i think i'd be like 500 points i could probably do that that'd be okay yeah yeah exactly 500 points never going to play <laughs> but i guess it, <laughs> then what, what is the kill team so basically a big new box is coming out for it um i'm going to say 120 pounds because that's what the war cry was on but that's all i'm basing it upon um uh, entirely believable yeah what we established uh cool doors cool doors are coming out for senior pieces yeah, which is nice lovely doors lovely doors um and the space marines i think you were saying that didn't you say uh you can't buy these separately from before you said that yeah, they... no. so the, these have been like they've been in the codex that's been out for like a month from maybe two months now and everyone's really wanted them and now they've just released them we knew they were coming in boxes of fire but they've just released them in this which means no one's going to get them for like another two months or something 
and everyone wants to run because they, they're quite reasonably priced for the actual army. So if, I know someone in uh, another YouTuber was wanting to run like 60 of these. And it's like, well, he's not going to be doing that for a while. <laughs> no, but you know, here we are. We know there's a big backlog of all the uh, worm and stuff. And then we got Adaptive Titanicus, which is the uh, obviously the the minute the miniature miniature version of the uh, uh, like Titans and stuff that board game and yeah. uh, or tabletop game whatever you want to call it and we've got the new uh, huge bigger than a warlord Titan that's came out for it which in war, like war our normal titan. pun war master Titan yes and this is the war master Titan which is in like our normal model scale is about the same sort of size as the Imperial Knight from what we can guess um, so that's cool. Uh, it's, it's generally a really, uh, really nice model there, uh, which, which is pretty cool. Like I can see you uh, using this as an Imperial Knight. I know some people may not like the idea, but it's a cool model, so it'll be interesting to see it played. Uh, but yeah, awesome, awesome thing there. Absolutely huge. But then going on to the important stuff, and it's all about Warhammer Age of Sigma, because we have got a huge new release coming for the Luminous Realm Lords. I know they haven't had any updated models for a while. Their range is lacking. Their book is really old, so they really need some new models, um, which I'm really, I'm really... Pun? I mean, like, what, six months? It's, just, it's, it's, it's far too long. Yeah, you know, that's, that's like more than five, right? Duh. Mm -hmm. It needs new models. So what we're going to do is we're going to play the trailers. And I think that means that all my videos get demonetized when I do this, but... You need the music, you need the the cool sounds and everything like that, don't you? You want the epicness of a trailer rather than me just being salty that I didn't get more vampires than I wanted, but we'll get to that in a moment. So I'll play the Lumineff trailer now. <laughs> So that was the trailer. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to load up again, but I'm going to pause it, I think, where we've been shown new units. Um, and then we'll go over there. If you can do the same as well, Luke. Yep. So, okay, so the first thing I think we've came across is going to be the new uh, Cavalry Hero, who we have seen. Uh, we've seen a proper model of this, so we won't really talk about this one too much. I presume that's what it is. It looks like it is. Um, yeah. Then, then we've, we've got, got a, we've got a mage maybe, hmm. yeah, which is quite cool. I'm just gonna yeah, he's not the banner because the banner's holding out a sword. Then we have a banner bearer, which yep. um, could be very interesting. I'd say it could be just like a part of a unit, but because it's on its own, and that's a very big banner, like mm. huge. Uh, so that could be cool. Could be like imagine an aura ability to help out everything. Um, yep. But you've also got I'm try not to click it so the sound starts playing again, but. We've also got uh, blisters coming. Mm. So that's cool. I mean, unless that's just a massive crossbow. or so, it, It's nah, got to be a blister. Look at the way his arms are. His arms are out, sort of, almost like holding handlebars or something. So no, I, I definitely think it's a blister. Yeah, it has to be, doesn't it? Um, so yeah, that's cool. Uh, they always needed more shooting, so that's fine. Uh, then going on to the next thing, which is a dual... Uh, like model if you like because we've got mm -hmm. some guy on a base holding a sword that's tilt the side i think and mm -hmm. then we have a a wizardy type maybe hollowed armor maybe guy at the top but looks a bit I'm... he looks a bit weird like from what i can mm -hmm. see like trying to get proportions with the guy on top it reminds me of that slanesh model where you've got the uh, is it Shalax? No, not Shalax. Yeah. It's the deep, yeah, uh, it is, isn't it? Uh, Shalax is the, the Keeper of Secrets, but I know who you mean. Uh, yeah. Oh, God, that's annoying now. But uh, yes, it is it is quite similar to that. So, yeah, that, that that could be quite cool. Again, like, without actually seeing the model, I'm not going to give my final opinion if I like it or not. Um, but what I can tell before getting the actual full image is the Swordmasters of Hoeth, or whatever they're going to be called now. Uh, new high elf uh, great swords. Yeah, which will be lovely. 
Yeah, which I think is probably one of the new coolest models the Luminum have got coming out, to be honest. I imagine if they're like um, Swordmaster Hoeth, uh, they'll be like hitting arrows out of the air. So it'll be things like maybe you might want to hit them for shooting. Or if you've got friendly models behind them and you're, I'm um, sorry, and the enemy's trying to hit you, they might want to hit. So, you know, it could be like a twice lookout uh, sort of bonus you get for them. Probably be quite good in combat. So they've got two lots of elite infantry then, haven't they? They've got the, uh, the guys of hammers and then they've got swords. Yeah. So lot, lots of variety. Um, and then we've got... Is that a standalone? Yeah, that is a standalone guy with, I think, a sword mm. in one hand and a staff in another. Yeah, I think so. Doing, like, a wide stance for his legs, that one. Um, yeah, so that could be another wizard. Mm. Uh, but the uh, the true uh, master of this sort of release of what we've seen today, what we didn't know of before is going to be uh, the guy we've got slowly coming up here, who is the, was he the spirit or something? Again, what we'll do is we'll go to the text and it will tell us more details about exactly what everything is. Um, yeah. But you do have the uh, lovely new goat, fox, gazelle looking model, which is an archer, right? And reminds me a little bit like the Stormcast um, sniper guy. Which I think is quite cool. Um, I just want to, before I just keep on guessing, I want to see if it actually says his name. Uh, so it says it, 20. It does, cool. So 2020 saw the release of the glorious Luminous Realm Lords range, and now this year we'll see reinforcements on their way for the elves, including. Uh, I've had terrible at names. Zavirith? Uh, Zavirith? Yeah. Uh, Lord of the Seventh Wind. Um, yeah, and he's also what we saw with that rumor picture. Um, we saw like a bit of his twisting uh, like uh, winds, presumably. Uh, and then it says the fox-like creature. Boom, was right. They said gazelle on the uh, live stream, but it is a fox. I am right. This fox-like creature is a demigod empowered by the wind of uh, wind spirits of Haish. Just in case you thought that Teclas had peaked with mountains. Cool. There's a there's a pun in there. That's a terrible pun. Yeah, I, I like. I yeah. I always didn't want to acknowledge it. <laughs> right, I kind of throw me off now. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so Archmage Teclas is also the cover star for the next book in the Thrilling Broken Realm saga. The narrative sees the Luminef Realm Lords taking the fight to Nagash, and after this epic clash, the mortal realms will never be the same again. Can the purest light of the Luminef break the dark curse of death? Uh, no, and I'll just tell you, you know, just so we're clear. It's also, it's, it's undeath, right? And mm. the other thing is that, as I've said countless times, Nagash wants to wipe out all free will so the Chaos Gods cannot reign supreme. So really, he's the good guy. Sigma is the traitor, and because Teclis is affiliated with Sigma, he is also a traitor, and the fact that he's even just trying to stop the good guys getting on with it, i.e. the Grand Alliance of Death, um, shows that really he's played his cards and that he's actually a pretty black character in a grey uh, world of Warhammer mm -hmm. in terms of uh, pretty pretty damn evil. So there we go. That's my thoughts on it. Uh, and then it says, along with a new background that will forever change the mortal realms, the book features War Squad Battalions for Luminous Realm, Lords, um, Caesar Sigma, Mag Mega King of Nurgle, Flesh Eater Courts, and Ostrich Brain Reapers. So... Uh, nothing for Legion of the Gash. Uh, well, that's... Ooh. That's... <laughs> I mean, we don't know, I think, there could be more stuff coming for vampires and it could be like a new battle zone coming out that's going to bring Legion st Nagash stuff into that, so I'm not going to be too annoyed right now. But um, if that doesn't happen, yeah, that, that sucks for uh, Legion of the Gash. Um, so there are also War Scrolls for a swathe of new Luminef uh, Realm Lord units, including some of the new, sorry, some of that we saw earlier in the week. And the unique battle plans that let you play out some of the battles from the narrative yourself. Of course, Teclas isn't going to have everything his own way. Marathi will see that, uh, see to that too. After claiming to have achieved apotheosis during the opening gambit of the Broken Realm saga, she is ready to unleash her forces in a uh, sorry, fresh assault upon the mortal realms. What better way is there to begin such campaign than with a new battle tome. So this is the new battle tome we've got for um, 
Doors of Cain come in. I'll be honest, I prefer the artwork here. I think it looks very cool. It almost mm. looks... Um, I mean, I, I don't know how it's done. But it looks like it hasn't been done on a computer as much, if you sort of see what I mean. Yeah, very hand-drawn. Mm. Which is, I mean, I, someone might point out in the comments that it, it is, in fact, done on a computer. Fair enough. But it looks cool anyway. It looks more like uh, like end towards fantasy art, which is... I'm not saying... If you notice, uh, the Lamia is on top of dead uh, Slanesh mortals. Yes. <laughs> yes, she is, which is, um, I don't know, that's going to be another insult to me. But no, that's cool. Um, and it ties into the new uh, Slanesh stuff coming out, right? Um, and also, what I want to say here is something I mentioned when we watched this, was that this has now um, sort of confirmed something, and that is, if your army gets an update in the Broken Realms book, that does not then mean that it skips their chance of getting a battle time. Doors of Cain got a big update in the Broken Realms Marathi, obviously, so I thought, ah, oh, they kind of needed an update, maybe because their battle time's quite old. They were going to get a new battle time, and then they got the update in... Marathi and it's like okay they did this instead of the battle tome nope they're doing the battle tome as well so what that means is that your Idenf Deepkin that got a big update in Marathi as well could still get a battle tome soon who's to say which I think is quite interesting would you agree on that one Luke? I would um I'd also sort of going back scrolling up slightly to have a look at sort of who else we're getting war scroll battalions for and stuff mm -hmm. uh Cities of Sigma again now, I'm wondering, because uh, it's sort of travelling to the different realms in the Broken Realms book, I'm wondering if each one's going to have a new sort of couple of cities for city and sort of slowly branch stuff out so we're going to get more cities for the different realms. I'm quite excited about that. I think we're going to get sort of a nice Hayish city that will allow them to ally with the Lumina, which would be really nice. And also, can I say, it's not guaranteed or anything, and it, and it sort of goes against it just by name alone, but... There's so many cities in Shaiish, the realm of death, that worship Nagash instead of Sigma, or they worship another patron of, of death or something else. Mm. And those are cities of mortals, and they can be ruled over by vampires. We may be seeing this coming out in a different release. But what are one of those cities of Sigma is from Shaiish. And oh, again, it could, be, it could be a city in Shaiish that does worship Sigma. You do have those. Uh, if you listen to the Soul Wars, there's one there as an example. Well, that's mainly focused on but so you could have a city there that's uh worship sigma and then that could be a cool cool different aesthetic that you would get compared to some of the other cities of sigma or you could have something that's you know quote unquote cities of sigma but actually doesn't exactly worship sigma and it can ally in i don't know death rattle units or something like i'm not saying that would be the strongest thing or whatever but it could be quite a cool thing because if you listen to or read um nagash the undying king that book that came out for Age of Sigma, that novel, it actually has um, kingdoms that worship Nagash and that you have like people who aren't ruled by vampires or anything, just mortals who rule themselves, uh, mortal kingdoms, but they also fight alongside their ancestors who are skeletons, which is like, so you have like, you know, three people and skeletons fighting along side by side, which is quite cool. And something that we could see. Are we going to see it? I don't know. But is that something that could be quite cool, do you think, Luke? Yeah, I'd love it. I, I, I mean, you know, I, I'm really sort of getting into my sisters of Sigma and like any excuse to branch out further and have the ability to take it with more varying armies and stuff is, is wonderful. And I'd love to see a new twist on it, particularly with like, you know, that death idea. Hmm. Where Could, you, it... and, and then you can branch it through all the realms, you know, you start getting into the realm of fire and stuff or and you uh -oh. start getting... You, you could do loads. And sisters of Sigma, I mean, like, you go like, well, how do they, you know, mix death units uh, like death units into it and it's like one in four units can be uh i don't know a legion of gas unit. yeah death i think death rattle is a good example right um yeah. the other thing i would say is when i was like but it's cities of sigma so really does it work because if they don't worship sigma as an example perfect look at broken realms and raffi you haven't got a better comparison there i can't remember the name mm -hmm. of the city unfortunately at the top of my head but the anvil guard that was spores alert taken over by Marathi. um is still a Cities of Sigma army in the Marathi book, but it can include Daughters of Cain units? I think a good way to look at it is, what's the game called? It's Age of Sigma. That doesn't mean every army is worshipping Sigma. Exactly. So it's just mean the cities that are in the game of Sigma, rather than it necessarily meaning all the cities have to worship Sigma itself. Exactly, good point. And I think 
I think that leads some interesting uh, conversations and stuff. But what I would mm. say is that at the moment we're in very like, um, like un, un, uh, sort of like untouched territory or uncertain times. And I don't want to use uncertain times because it always seems to be used in a bad way. But like, we don't know. Our speculations they could give us more news in a week or two weeks or something, um, which is cool. What I would like to say, I mean, like obviously I was annoyed there wasn't Legion of the Gash there, um, but. Fleshy Courts get a new battalion, so that's cool. Oshawa's Brain Reapers? Mm. Um, yeah, why not? I mean, it feels like they've... Um, if, uh, even if their book is a year old, or just over, I feel like so they came out in November, I think, last not last year, the one before. And I think um, that still quite a new book, so maybe some other uh, guys who have liked battalions before them, but I'm happy. I, you know, I'm Bill and Oshawa's Brain Reapers, so yeah, sure. And then uh, Mad King of Nurgle, old book, so nice of them as well. Luminous Realm Lords... Uh, I mean, like, I don't think they need new battalions, but like, it, the whole book is about them, right? So they they kind of um, at the end of the day. I think it's nice that they're getting the new war scrolls for the new models just in this book, rather than having to put, get a brand new battle tome. Exactly, uh, that's, that's a nice way. So if it's just battalions for the new models, then that that works. I know, that, that, that's not too bad. Yeah, uh, yeah, I I agree. Just want to quickly. Uh, I'll just quickly mute this so it doesn't start playing again. Before we go on to, I know there's really cool Ender Spells coming out um, for the Doors of Cain, etc. But I just want to quickly go over the Luminous Trader again just to count how many new units we've got. Because uh, I thought that would be quite interesting. So we've got the one, the guy riding the mount that we see an actual picture of. Two, which is the Wizard Maybe. Three, which is the Banner. Four, which is the Ballista. Five, which is the Jewel Kit. Six, which is the uh, Guys of Swords. Seven, which is maybe another wizard, and then eight, which is the uh, spirit of the wind, or whatever it was, the fox thing. So that and is eight, and nine. then nine for the kangaroos, isn't it? Yeah, nine for the kangaroos. Yeah, that's nine, a lot nine, of yeah. new units, mm -hmm. and that might not be all of them, or there may be different ways to build them or something. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that's, that's loads. I still, I don't know. Iron jewels always come to mind of like guys who <laughs> have so few units and they came out ages ago. But moving on. So along with the battle tome, going back to Doors of Cain. Um, Get three new endless spells. If you like your magic dripping with blood as you cast it across the battlefield, and frankly, who doesn't? You love the blood rack viper, the blade wind, and the heart of fury. So you'll absolutely love them because I'll be honest, I mean that snake, uh like the blood rack viper, lovely, right? That's that's obviously my favourite one straight straight away. It really is, yeah. Uh, it's good it's gonna be beautiful to paint. Yeah, it does remind me quite a lot of corn with the blood and stuff. Mm. But it's like you know they're both about blood, aren't they? So I, I think they've done a nice, nice job on it. You know, if you looked at those side to side with the corn ones, they are different enough. The blood's done differently. That whilst it is a similar theme, they are distinctly different. Yeah, I mean, like I can see maybe. I mean, looking at the vampire units we have at the moment in the games, so this may change. But I can see like. Depending on size, like someone getting that snake and like basically converting it so it's meant to be like the horse that a vampire rides or something. You know, like mm. I really like that snake and I want to do things with it. So <laughs> yeah, that, that that's very cool. Um, and then going on to Warhammer Underworlds, which is the most important part of this, um, I would say, or kind of joint with the next thing we're going to see. Um, and it says a deadly new warband is drawn to the living mountain, but can they control their hunger long enough to claim glory? Well, I imagine they fight other warbands along the way, and that's how they cleanse their hunger, right? But let us get on with the Crimson Court. So I'll play the trailer now. And there we go, the Crimson Court. 
I'm going to ask you first off, Luke. What are your thoughts? I think, I, honestly, I think they're lovely. Uh, it's a really nice take on the different vampires. And as uh, I'm sure you're probably about to say, but I'll steal your thunder. Not pirates. Not pirates, exactly. Which I'm more than happy with. I mean, if you're sitting there going like, well, I really want the pirates. Honestly, if you can care, like, convert them into pirates. Look, if anything, you should be the one converting them into pirates than me making them not pirates, right? Like... <laughs> So, yeah, I mean, and what I like is that you've got some variety here, okay? You've got a winged one, which is nice. Um, you then have one that looks straight like Manfred, because he's got the lump on his head. And it's kind of a, um, well, it's obviously a very heavily armoured one. I don't want to say, yeah, I'd say like more of a, I mean, if you want to use the the old bloodlines, you know, you've got the Strigoi one, you've got the um, Blood Knight, you've then got the Von Karstein being the one that looks like Comrade. You then have the, um, the I mean, not to just be sexist here, but the woman who watches like the Lamia one. Um, mm. But uh, all very cool. I think probably, um, I'm going to go off the video now because hopefully, yeah, they've got better pictures. Cool. Um, yeah. So you got one of um, Comrade, right? Well, he's not Comrade, but he looks very much like Comrade von Karstein. Uh, in the red armour, beautiful. He's probably my favourite, but that might just be because he's in painted in a lovely colour scheme. I, I think my favourite's probably the the von Karstein. Yeah, what? Well, yeah, like the the one that's painted in the red. No, no, sorry, sorry, the the Manfred. Oh, the, oh, so the Manfred one. Yeah, yeah. I'll quickly get that. Yeah, it is, it is really cool. Um, I kind of at first think like maybe it looks a bit sort of mono pose a little bit, like you know, just standing there straight yeah. holding just like one, uh, you know, mace that's not doesn't look like it's leaning to one side, it just looks a bit rigid. But then again, what you can compare it to is that you know it's a massive badass vampire that doesn't move for anyone, and he's strong enough to make sure that thing that's made out of solid steel or iron can just balance perfectly upright. Like yeah, you know, I think, I think it's more of an imposing yeah. figure rather than a movement figure. And I, I, I yeah, I, you know, you just try and picture this was easily six foot something vampire that's just going to be. Stepping forward, swinging this huge two-handed mace around, like you know, the very beginning of Lord of the Rings with Sauron, that kind of DDO. Yeah, watching it's... everything just crush before it. I love it. It's epic. And what I can say is, like you know, just thank God we have got vampires coming in some form to Age of Sigma. Um, <laughs> like yeah, but I mean, it's still. I'll, I'll talk about that uh, at the end. But I was just going to say. Um, that's, it's still a cool vampire warband. Uh, it's not pirates, which is good. Uh, I like all the models in the warband, which is cool. Uh, the winged one, mm. I'm a bit unsure about. That might just be because, like, I don't know what type of hair gel he's using. It just that, and it's very difficult to see when you've got just a mono vision. You know, yes. once you got it 360 looking all around, it, 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 that might help. I really like it. I think it's a lovely model. I quite like. I quite like the half. Like, because well, before, we, what have we had? We've made, mostly just had full vampire or far goof. You had that one with the wing, single wing going up. Oh, that that I really dislike him. I mean, how does it work? Mm. It's got Whereas one this, wing and one arm. This is the sort of that nice halfway, sort of more animalistic side of the vampires without it just being full var goof. So, no, I, I quite like it. Exactly. Um, and what, actually, I'll, I'll talk about it now, I might as well. So... What we haven't got here is, you know, like a full release for vampires that we've seen, mm. right? We haven't seen Soul Blight Gravelord being teased yet properly without that just one model they did. And how they actually revealed that one model after that it was leaked to the internet is they, I don't know if they mentioned the Soul Blight Gravelord. I, I didn't read the whole article, but I don't know if they actually mentioned that faction title. So they might have still wanted to keep that a secret. But because also they didn't. Oh, they didn't talk about it in this, but also they didn't talk about the kangaroos did they? So that's fair enough. Um, but no, so these are nice. Um, it also could give us a hint of what we could see from the vampire faction if it does come out in the future. But no, I like them. When will these guys come out? Because I, I mean, oh, I'd like to buy them. <laughs> There's a bit of a backlog. Me and Luke were uh, talking about with Warhammer Underworlds with warbands. Like you know, we've still got the um, Slaves of Darkness ones coming out. And we still got what there's a Seraphon one that they've revealed. And yeah. there is I think there was another one they revealed with the Slaves of Darkness. Can't remember too much. But these guys are they also showed off Lumineth. Were they just the same Lumineth Realm Lord or band presumably we've already got, I would think. 
Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it, it was just, it was that one that came out in the first part of Diacasm. I was going to say they burnt. It, right. it was just showing these guys against them. I just quickly went and had a look at the article the other day from the Potato Cam article, mm -hmm. and all it says about that vampire is it looks like the power lines, of, uh, the powerful, looks like the power of ancient bloodlines is rising in the mortal realms as well. Just take a look at this block setting fiend who answers to the title of Vampire Lord. That's it. So they didn't mention soul blight grave lords nope not at all so i wanted to keep that secret and just pretend that bit didn't exist so yep. that's interesting so that means there could still be a reveal for that um which there may be a saving for a i mean if they've already got the models packed packed up and stuff they um boxed mm. i'd say maybe they want to leave it to the next preview but if they've already got everything ready to go i know they're delaying everything anyway but i don't know february's a short month February, so. February is a short month. Um, yeah, so like, I don't want to like hate too much that I wanted to see loads of vampires today and I was disappointed because I could eat my words in a month from now, you know, and I don't want to <laughs> be too salty. But, you know, it's, and some of those Lumineth models are really cool that are coming out. But for me personally, I just feel like, again, I'll go to my one example, Iron Jaws, that are like they could do with some new models. Um, but I know they're like, it's like War Clans now, so there's more there and stuff. But... Yeah, well, Lumineth are going to be one of the biggest new army rangers in Age of Sigma, aren't they? Apart from Stormcast. Yeah. I don't, like, as in actual new models, um, which it, which is good for uh, for Lumineth. What I will say is, like, I've heard a lot of people, since they've done that little tease there, they'll go, I want to do a Lumineth Realm Lords army. Just remember that they may be quite expensive. Yeah. Um, yeah, like, it may be like, oh, this is a cool new army that they've just got loads of new models for as well. And then they're all just still really expensive. Because what I did predict is that we were going to get a Death versus Lumineth box set mm. coming out because we've got the Broken Realms tech list coming out. Um, I still think we might see it. But when I did my video yesterday that went up, I was like, I'm, you know, not guaranteed. But I'm like, I'm, I'm pretty strong that we're going to see that come out in the preview. And I was wrong. So... Maybe we'll see it um, come out later. It'd be interesting to know if they reveal the Marathi book before they reveal that Shadow and Pain box set. Uh, I'm just thinking about it now. It, it, thinking about the backlog that we've got just for Diaclasm, you know, all the, all the War Cry stuff. You're probably not looking at this this lot coming out until March, mm -hmm. realistically, I think. So I think what we're going to get is in in February, we're going to get the release of the Techless book. And the Daughters of Cain book, uh, book, and I think in that that will hit hit the rumors at the new vampires, and then during the February like stream, that's when they'll announce the new vampire sort of faction, the Grave Lords, and then it will be released in March alongside this Warcry band, not yeah. Warcry, uh, Underworlds. Agreed. Uh, I, th I think that's something we could see. It did make me laugh though, because like, myself and other YouTubers and streamers were going along the lines of going like, uh, "Today we're all set for vampires," and then Lumineth is just like an, an extra thing, and then it was like, <laughs> "It's all about the Lumineth." <laughs> like I've seen so many like um, live streams that are set to cover this preview, and they're all set to like, "Give me more vampires now." Looking forward to the vampires, bring back the blood. <laughs> it's just like all oh, this one, but you know. That's not it for vampires, though, because you then go on to the next thing, which is the new game they've uh, showcased and released and they've um, previewed here. Um, and I, I hesitate to say new game because Warhammer, uh, Warhammer Quest is something I thought it could be. But I was like, no, they said it's a new thing coming. And it's like, Warhammer Quest is already here. So I'm a little bit like, uh, not that they like misleaded, but, you know, they, they kind of imply that it was a brand new thing. <laughs> and it's, mm -hmm. I haven't got anything against Warhammer, uh, Warhammer Quest. Um, I've, I played Silver Tower and it was great fun. So let's have a look at this one. So it says, so this is Warhammer Quest Cursed City. Speaking of vampires, an epic new Warhammer Quest game brings even more bloodsuckers to the mortal realms. If you and your friends have already defeated the Silver Tower and the Blackstone Fortress, you'll find an exciting challenge ahead as you embark on the most dangerous quest yet into the Cursed City of... Ulfurkan? Ulfurkan. Yeah. Ulfurkan? They're going to say it in the video anyway, so I won't butcher it too much. Um, so, let us watch this video. Evil lies. 
lies at the heart of Gulfan Khan. This once great city is now a charnel house. Its people are enslaved, brutalized, and harvested. Their broken bodies raised up to serve the city's cruel master in death. We will not allow this desecration to continue. Know this, Wolf. You are not the first monster we have hunted. So it looks really cool, and it's probably one of the most exciting things I've seen in this um, preview. I think it'll be a fantastic game to play, probably really, really fun. Um, but the other thing I want to mention is we have got two models they've showcased here where they've given us actual pictures, which the Witch Hunter, which I think is cool, and I know you think is particularly cool, Luke, as well. Mm. Like, yeah, very excited. He's got a stake launcher on his gun, right? An yeah. underbarrel stake launcher. I mean, what is there left to say? They could have given him two swords, so he would be like the Witcher, just as like an extra nod. Um, but he's got a look, so he's got a dagger, he's got a hammer, he's got a great sword, and he's got two barrels essentially on his gun. Like he's pretty armored. And um, yeah, this is obviously what they've previewed to us, or this not preview, that's the wrong word. They teased to us in the uh, like New Year video, where they showed like new models coming out, and there was going to be a witch hunter or a vampire hunter, as we called it. And um, here we are. Here is the uh, Witch Hunter slash Vampire Hunter. So, very cool there. And then we have got the next one, which is this sort of grave digging, uh, grave digging looking one, which is obviously my favourite one. And it just looks like something out of Dark Souls or The Witcher, that very grim, dark aesthetic. And I think they've executed that fantastically here, especially with the um, like heavy metal team with the paint skin. I mean, mm. that's really, really quite cool. Um, you got any thoughts on this one, Luke? Well, yeah. So I've just clicked on the little link that takes you across to like the new sort of uh, website all about this. And um, interestingly, it shows there's a little section that says characters of the cursed city. And then if you click on the witch hunter, it says uh, shows sort of a lot of blank characters saying coming soon. And the witch hunter is one of eight, number one of eight. And then the Korslav, the grave keeper, uh, is one of five. So we, we have a bit of a, more of an idea of the sort of number of characters we've got coming so far. Okay, that's cool. Um, so yeah, I, I'll be honest, I didn't know there was a website um, because we've just watched it live and then we're just reviewing it straight away. But that's cool. Yeah. Um, so they've got like a section on there, we'll have a community website. Um, there's probably not loads on here right now, but yeah, I can see Agents of the Defiance and Overlords of um, Orphan Khan. And yeah. that's quite cool. There's there's more information here. We won't go into all of this um, <laughs> just because uh, it could take forever. But what I would say is... Uh, yeah, so like they don't show you the outlines of all the new models that could be coming out for this, but I presume the the uh, uh, the stock one they show is maybe what one of the models will be like. So a, a human with a great sword maybe could be a great sword captain yeah. or something. Maybe a Stormcast, but I don't think so. Um, and then you've got uh, a new skeleton uh, champion or something maybe coming out, maybe. Um, oh, but this is cool. Let's like explore the city. Uh, mm. This I don't know. This could be a whole different video, yeah. maybe. Uh, oh no, cool. It's just something really small. Uh, so some of the things are blocked out, and some things are here. But it just gives you an idea of what a city is like in Shaiish, presumably. Um, yeah, so, okay, we won't go into all this now, but it just gives you more details and cool. And something that I thought was interesting when I watched the trailer was, um, remind me very much like Vermintide, because I know me and you have played that quite a bit, Luke, and it just had that mm. aesthetic and that feel and the characters who were there. And it looked like there may even be, like, an orc or something with them. I was just or thinking... Or an ogre, like, like not an ogre, because it's not that big, but, like, a big... Or just, just a bodybuilder, maybe. Who knows? But mm. I'll read what they've got here as well, which is... So with revised and refined rule system and models that you've never uh, dreamed of, 
We're going to stick our necks out, not usually a good idea in Ulfenkarn, uh, and say that the new Warhammer Quest might just be the best game in a box that the fine folks at the Warhammer Studios have ever made. And there may be, uh, sorry, made some corkers. We can't just leave you hanging like uh, that though, can we? Of course not. Uh, here are a couple of the incredibly new models. So we've got the Vampire Hunter, um, which is uh, Jelson uh, Darok, which we've talked about here. And then we've got the um, villainous uh, Gorslav uh, Gravekeeper, which is um, absolutely lovely, uh, that model, which I, I think uh, really quite uh, one of the darkest looking models I think I've seen for uh, AOS, so that's cool. And it could can just be the paint scheme, right? That makes it look like that, but yeah. they've done a good job on it. Um, it says, we'll um, have much to reveal about Warhammer Quest Curse City over the coming weeks, but you can learn more right now by visiting the new website dedicated to the game, which we've just looked at. Uh, it then says, that's just a taste of some of the awesome things that we've got coming for you in 2021. As we get closer to the release dates, We'll be taking much more in-depth looks at everything, so make sure that you sign up to our newsletter, blah, 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 blah. Um, yeah, I think we're still going to see stuff come up for Vampires, but for what I want to see, though, here, I'm just going to have another look at this video because we, almost like the Lumineth one, we're getting a hint of new units we could get. Um, mm. So we've obviously got the, uh, the, the, the king of this city, who uh, may be a vampire, maybe not. Maybe he's just been sort of like twisted and warped, but I think he's probably maybe a vampire um, mm -hmm. as he's it's very death-like. The guy with the, like, the wolf uh, pelt around his shoulders. We obviously got the uh, the Gravekeeper guy here, and then we've got this lady that may be a vampire. Here. Maybe, or I've got a harpy thing, maybe. Don't know. Yeah, like, interesting, right? Well, she could mm -hmm. be. Um, and then going on, it then says like the the citizens have been turned and everything and then we've got this skeleton here with a hellbird which is cool and a sword in this left hand which is nice mm -hmm. you then have these again harpy looking um weird creatures here don't you like have you seen the lady who's like attached to the wall or well, i say like yeah so you see it's, the legs like, piece leg, legs is kind of like remind me a lot of some, sort of the slaneshi stuff yeah it could be and there's also like you know uh Fleshier courts, right? You know, when people can get mutated by drinking vampire blood and everything. Mm. So, like, uh, that's cool. And then we've got another one here. And then we've got Skeleton Warriors at the back. Yeah. So they could be new Skeleton Warriors coming out. I mean, I hope not, because then my Skeleton Warriors <laughs> are now redundant. But it could be something we could see um, coming out for them, right? And then we have got the new Dead Walkers. This is obviously speculations and may not be the case. Mm. But we've got new Dead Walkers here that very much play on quite an interesting theme because we know when Games Workshop re-release things, they don't make them exactly like the standard uh, fantasy uh, uh, stroke, mm -hmm. right? They don't go like, um, right, we're just going to make them look like all normal zombies. Or like when they kind of like re-release skeletons in Ostrich Bone Reapers, they were... Uh, obviously made to look quite different and everything else and this is kind of the same with these um zombies because they've all got like the, it's almost like their gravestones are attached to them and you've got like because they've been in the ground for so long you've actually got the roots and everything going through them i'll have to see how they look but just off that art style there i'm actually not a fan of them but i'm, I'm waiting to see the models i'm waiting yeah. to see the models that that's that's i mean i'm kind of the same as well I was kind of hoping that they were going to go um, for zombies really quite, uh, how do I say it? Almost like the modern day zombies we see like out of like World War Z or something, you know, just like, mm. just, just, just flip it a little bit of like what we think of zombies and just make them like really fast, I think like that um, could be quite cool. Uh, what I will say is we'll get to in a moment, but we do actually have a glimpse of what one of these models do look like on that Gravekeeper guy. Yeah, there's... yeah I, I did sort of just think that as have a scroll down so yeah. yeah so we go here when we reviewed Murley so we have got one here um I'm a bit funny like the paint scheme because it looks like the hair is like the same color as the skin maybe a little bit but mm. um but at the same time we've got a detailed zombie there an actual detailed zombie um so it could be cool but I think again wait and see um 
Right, so with that, I think we've talked long enough about the Warhammer preview, which was, you know, the dead end of the vine. I hope that you guys watched it as well. And if you haven't, make sure you go over to the Warhammer community and you can watch it at your um, heart's content or anything we didn't cover, especially like the 40k stuff as well. And um, also, what we want to hear is going to be your thoughts in the comments because me and Luke have told us, um, or told you, our sort of thoughts about things. And now we want to hear what your thoughts are about this preview. Again, I will say, from my heart, I am disappointed that we didn't get more vampire stuff, but I think there's still uh, more vampire stuff to come. So I'm not, I don't want to sound too salty about that. Um, if you're a Lumina player, you want to collect Lumina, fantastic news for you. You're going to have an absolutely brilliant model range. Um, some very cool uh, models coming out for you. If you do, um, I don't know, obviously Sister the Battle, cool. Adeptus Titanicus, you've got a new model coming out that's probably going to be fairly expensive. Um... And then, yeah, have you got Kill Team? Looks like something cool coming out for you as well. And obviously, Wormer Quest looks very cool. What I'd say is, I actually said this, didn't I, when we were watching it uh, live, and I was like, that looks really cool. Can't wait to play it in like a year, for, <laughs> year from now or something. And I don't just mean like from when it's released. I just mean like, obviously, where we are in the world right now, I won't be playing any games for a long, long time. Um, but it did look cool. Is there any like closing things you want to say, Luke? Like, what did you like here? Uh, I was actually going to ask you. you know, I'll, I'll say mine first, but what what what's your favourite model from the release this so far? Oh, my favourite. I'm I'm quite torn for mine personally, so oh, I'll, I'll let you go. My favourite model. Okay, so it's going to be the Sisters of Battle battle suit here, the baby carrier. Mm. I just think it's just no. Okay, so my actual favourite model is going to. So all right. It's hard because I like the vampires and I really like. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna go the um. Oh, what's his full name? Uh, I'm gonna go, uh, Gorslav, uh, the Gravekeeper. Mm -hmm. He's gonna be my favorite. I like all the vampires, but mm -hmm. like, he is uh, as like what is my favorite model? He's gonna be like I prefer him than those vampires. So like. He's got to be my favourite. What about yourself? Well, I thought you were going to say the Blood Rat Viper, actually, but that's interesting. Uh, um, what, oh, do you mean the spells as well? Do they? Yeah, I mean, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. So that is cool, right? And it, I could say maybe, but I'm not actually going to use it. Like, mm, true. So, like, it's cool. It's definitely the best spell there. Um, yeah. So, so is that your favourite? Person? No, no, no. Personally, I'm. It's either the Witch Hunter, which is a nice sort of you know, opposition to you, and that, that works nicely, or it's got to be the um, the vampire with the absolutely massive mace, because I, I just love love the posing on it, because I, I think that too many models come with the whole I'm standing on a rock movement yes. at the moment, there's way too much of that. And I mean, the yeah, weird guy standing on a rock. Yeah, the it, blood, you know. The, <laughs> like the guy's like comrade is standing on a rock. Yeah, or the guy with the wing, you know, stepping on a step. There's plenty of that kind of movement and stuff right now. And sometimes it's nice to have just a single model being imposing, just standing there going, I don't care, come at me. Yeah, so I, I think I'm going to go with him. Uh, that Good shout, because I was also going to say that the Gravekeeper is also standing on a on a tomb. <laughs> so, yeah. like, yeah, I know what you mean. And it almost reminds me, like, if you play, like, a video game and stuff and you, like, enter a, enter a dungeon or something and it's just, like, that boss you have to defeat just standing there. Uh, it does have that sort of vibe. But, no, that's mm. cool. And, yeah, I, I think we've covered everything. Um, so what I'm going to do is, like I say, uh, get this uploaded as soon as I can to you guys so you can watch it. I really want to hear in the comments your thoughts and everything. Um, it, like I say, if you're disappointed about vampires, we'll probably see some stuff soon. Uh, if you love the Lumineth, fantastic for you. And um, I think generally quite a good uh, preview, apart from the yeah. of, <laughs> lack of vampires, obviously. But <laughs> uh, we got vampire, we got a vampire warband, right? Which um, is great. And we've also got hints of what's to come for the um, vampires that's death, maybe from that Warhammer Quest uh, update we've got coming. But anyway, guys, so what I will say is thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did so, make sure that you smash that like button and that subscribe button as well, as that's absolutely free for you guys to do so and really helps out the channel. If you have already subscribed, please also um, hit that bell notification because it means you'll never miss one of my future videos. And um, 
basically it's just a like I say free way for you guys to uh, help support the channel and also if you did enjoy the video and you think someone else may enjoy it as well feel free to share it with them it would be great to have them join the community i would also like to do a massive shout out to my patrons who like i always say if it wasn't for them i wouldn't be able to continue this so that's going to be my Morgas, which is sandback jonathan h philco bleed red my vampires which is mir martin s roush 21 and david a and my necromancers which is jack l radiation riley aw77 dice sagas wolf nick W, uh, sorry, uh, Michael W, Quad, and Cranky Wombat. So, guys, thank you very much for your continued support. If it wasn't for you, like I say, I wouldn't be able to keep the channel up. And um, if anyone likes to become a patron, you will see a link at the top of my description down below. If you click that link, it will take you to my Patreon. And even if you just consider um, donating one dollar a month or something, it would make a huge difference. But if you can't and you did enjoy the video, just remember to click that like button, and that really helps as well. Okay, guys. So with that, that is that. So. Hopefully more things to come. Obviously, this is very exciting times of updates and we don't know what is going to come out around the corner. And um, yeah, any last uh, shout outs for yourself, Luke? No, um, stay safe. Wash your hands. So you're going you're gonna to take that from me. Um, yeah. the, the last thing I will say there, stay hygienic. It's very important we stay hygienic so we start playing games again. But anyway, special thank you to you, Luke, as well, and uh, for joining me in this video and also... Everyone who joined in on the Discord to uh, sort of discuss this before we uh, did this video. Very good. Um, okay, so with that, guys, remember until next time that Nagash is all and all is one in Nagash. <laughs>